Hello and welcome back to another video. So this video we're going to be doing a rules review for the Orc Defcopter. Um, and I thought we'd just, before we begin, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please grab your chopper and your slugger and hit the subscribe button and destroy the bell button so that you never miss an upload. Cool. So let's go to, I think it's page 105 possibly. <laughs> Could be wrong, been wrong before. Ah, there we go, cool. So we're gonna have a look at the defcopters. What I'll aim to do this time is do less of the moving about, um, as I did I get one or two complaints about the random movement of the screen. So I'll try not to do it as much, but no promises. Anyway, uh, so here we're looking at the defcopters. Um, they have changed a little bit since the index uh, but this is basically their rules. If you want to take a screenshot, go for it. Boom. Anyway, so as you can see here, they have a movement of 14 inches, which is not insignificant. Um, they have a weapon skill of 3+, plus, so they're pretty good at hitting. Um, they have a ballistic skill of 5+, plus, standard orcs. Can't deal with that one. Uh, strength 4, so an okay strength. Toughness 5. Wounds of 4. 2 attacks. Leadership of six, so not excessively high, but okay -ish. And a save of four plus, so pretty good as a as an orc goes, to be honest. So, good save. Decent amount of wounds and very fast. It says, uh, this unit contains one defcopter. It can, say, it can include up to two additional defcopters, uh, plus three power rating or plus four, depending uh, up to four additional defcopters. Eight, at six point six power level. Good gosh, I can't speak English ever. Um, but yeah, so it looks like you can have one or three. Or oh, um, it says up to the two additional, two additional death cops as power rating plus three. So you get more for your money for a lower power. Anyway, I'm not reading that properly, right? Am I? It says each model is um, equipped with a twin big shooter, a slugger, and spinning blades. So the slug is good in the fact that you can shoot it in the combat phase. It's an extra attack at strength force. So that's okay. Twin big shooter. I like the big shooter. It's um, one of my favourite orc weapons ever. However, and twin big shooters means you can have six shots, so you're more likely to hit at least two times um, on average out of each shot taken. However, most people like myself are going to have the one with the copter rockets. So that's twenty-four inches assault two. Strength 8, minus 2 AP, 3 damage. It's going to do a consistent and decent amount of damage. Uh, it's not going to hit very often, but again, you know, you've, uh, you've, you're firing from Orcs. If you get any 6s, you're going to gain additional hits with the Daka 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 special rule. As you can see on here, they have the Ear We Go rule, and the Mob rule, and, well, yeah, we've already mentioned the Daka Daka. So Ear We Go meaning they can reroll failed charges. So you can move 14 inches, if you wish, and this can change, and we'll have a quick glance at it later. I'm not going to go fully in depth, it's mainly a rules review this, and so not necessarily how to win, um, but pretty much um, just a bit of a glance at the rules and, and a little talk about it. So um, you also have this rule here, a turbo boost, so when it advances, add 6 to its move characteristic, for that movement phase instead of rolling a dice. So you can move 20 inches. That's right, isn't it? Yep. 20 inches if you advance. Obviously advancing would not allow you to um, charge, which would you be doing? Who knows? Who knows? Scouting ahead. During deployment, you can set up this unit behind enemy lines instead of placing it on the battlefield. At the end of any of your movement phases, they can swoop around to ambush the foe. Set them anywhere up anywhere on the battlefield that is more than nine inches away from any models and within 14 inches of a battlefield edge. So it's, it's a good decent um, deployment to be honest. Um, and so it says at the end of any of you up first, needless to say you won't be able to move after that, but you'll have moved 14 inches. So you can move them anywhere you like, um, pretty much. So as here it says, you may replace the twin big shooter with copter rockets in the past this is where i was going to talk to you is in the past you used to be able to swap it for a custom mega blaster however 
I would argue that the custom Mega Blaster was a little bit on the pants side. Um, it was stinky, to be honest. Um, it was nice, but the points were thingy, and it was unreliable in the fact that every time you roll a 1, your model would have been slain, or at least suffered one more wound. And given orc accuracy, it's not the best in the world, is it? Um, so you also did have the spinning blades, which is which is good, in that that is a plus one strength, um, one damage. You know, make d three d three d three hits rolls for each attack made by this weapon. So you could have anywhere between two and possibly, is that right? Six, yeah, between two and six attacks from each defcopter. Um, and I don't know why you wouldn't do that because you've either got two base. At strength four or strength five, at least two, if not six. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, they also used to have the um, bombs, which was good. Uh, which what you could do there is you would fly over them over a unit, um, and then you would roll a five up. And if you got the five up from each def copter, once per battle, by the way. Um, you could, uh, you would inflict D3 or D6 mortal wounds or one mortal wound. Oh, that was it. Yes, yeah, so on a, on a, you'd roll a D6. Gosh, I can't remember. Basically, you'd have, there was a random amount and you'd roll up to, think, five dice and on a five plus there'd be a mortal wound on the unit. So it was good for getting in, but I can see how that could be abused with a deck 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 special rule and just effectively cause insane amounts of mortal wounds. However... It's no longer the case. You can't get that with the Defcopters now, as you can see in the stat line here. Also, you used to be able to get the um, Kill Saw, which I think was minus one to hit, but you would get times two strength, and I think it was either min minus two, minus three, or minus four AP and D3 damage. So it's basically like having Power Claws flying around, which was good, but now you can't do that anymore. So these guys have changed a little bit in their role. So their role, I would think, and I would guess, is to shoot at some stuff and to attack some weaker units. You're not going to use this on a specific, um, on a, gosh, uh, a, a melee specialist. You want to, This is more of like a bully unit that you're probably going to be using on things like, uh, I would say fire warriors, but they can shoot pretty good. Um, maybe fire warriors in combat after you've shot them to bits. Um, definitely you could kill a load of guardsmen with this and um, with the fact that you can do possibly two to six attacks at strength five you're likely going to rip through them to be honest um so pretty much the way i would the way i would load it out is as it as most of the models you're going to get in a def copter are probably going to be with the copter rockets depending on who you're going against again this is the thing and um, there is a conversion you could do where you could just chop off the two bottom rockets and put the uh, and just put some either shooters or big shooters on there, and then it, you could say right, I'm this this game I'm using these, this game I'm using that, and I think most people would not have an issue with that to be honest. Um, how long is this video going on for? Currently we're on eight minutes. So, um, <clears throat> keywords orc clan, so it can take a clan, can clan, uh, it's a vehicle, it has the fly special word. So one thing this model, and speed freaks, and def copters, um, but one thing this model could do is tie up, well not tie up, but at least attack um, some flyers. Although at strength five versus toughness seven, most are uh, toughness seven, you're probably not gonna be doing an awful lot, um, but you could definitely um, annoy them at least. So let's have a little look at the I would say we'll call we'll go for the clans, shall we? Go for the clan um, clan cultures and see which one we think is probably probably the better one. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep them doggy scrolling. Roha. Anyway, so uh, da, 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 da. I think speed freaks can have um, clan cultures. To be honest. So I'm pretty sure that's fine. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so um, we'll have a look at the speed, the uh, evil suns first. So red ones go faster. Add one to the move characteristic of models with this culture, adding two instead if the model is a speed freak. 
So instead of a 14 inch move, you've got a 16 inch move and you can advance 22 inches if you choose at any point. So you can go and sneak and grab objectives at any point. It says add one to advance rolls and charge rolls when made for them. So you wouldn't add one because you don't roll for that exact the six inch charge. I mean, I'd have to maybe check an FAQ, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain that wouldn't count. So you would still get a 22 inch charge uh, rather than 23, but still pretty decent. It says, in addition, models with this culture do not suffer the penalty for the hit rolls when advancing and firing assault weapons. So you could advance, so you could turbo boost at 22 inches with the red suns and e evil suns, red ones go faster, um, and still shoot your rockets or your big shooters, I say at full ballistic skill, uh, uh, hitting on fives. Uh, so that's pretty good actually, to be honest. That's, I would argue, especially if you're using them for a bully unit, objective hunters and just harassing units, that's probably the best one to go to on it, to be fair. I mean, the, the six up invulnerable save for the death skulls is pretty good. Um, but are you going to get me? Yeah, maybe, maybe. That's all right. Um, I'd see this one. Add one to hit rolls for attacks made by models with this culture. If any other friendly unit within cult within 24 inches has destroyed an enemy unit this phase. So you can make them shoot better, but if I'm honest, it's not that it's not that reliable to use, to be honest, if you're making a plan anyway. A unit with this culture gains the benefit of cover even while they're not entirely on or in a terrain feature if the enemy model is making at least 8 inches away. In addition, units with this culture can shoot or charge, but not both, even if they fell back the same time. So again, that's kind of good because you could almost definitely um, get out of reach, but you won't be able to shoot. Oh, you could, yeah, you could, yeah, you could. Um, and then still get you, basically you'd have it with a 3-up save instead of a 2-up, uh, a 4-up save. However, again, this one I think is possibly slightly better than the others. Um, roll a dice each time your culture with this wound loses a wound on a six up, it's not destroyed. Uh, it's not lost, basically. So that's good. So you've got a four up save and then a six up, not invulnerable save, but a six up feel my pain. Pretty much. And goths, no mucking about. Um, each time an unmad for a six attack, basically you get an additional attack. I actually think, in my opinion, Hmm. So reroll hit rolls of one attacks made by models with this culture in the shooting phase. So you're going to hit on a five or a six and reroll those ones. Any sixes are going to get your um, extra shots. So it means your big shooter death copters are probably going to go a bit um, shootier, to be honest. However, um, I think specifically for flavoursome um, is probably more the evil suns. I would personally either go for the uh, snake bites, which are kind of good because you get six up feeling up pain, or because they're mainly a shooting unit, either arms to the teeth with bad moons or evil suns. We'll have a quick glance at points to be honest, because I think um, that could be interesting. Where's points? That's Necrons. We don't want to be talking about Necrons in this video. First attack, we want to go to. Ba -ba -do -ba -do -do -do. Um, Death Copters, 30 points. I can't remember what they used to be. 30 points, but then we've got a pair for a slugger, which I think is free, if I'm honest. Let's check that out. Slugger is 0 points. We also have a copter rockets, which are 24 points. So that means they're 54 points with copter rockets. Let's see the twin big shooter. Let's check that point. It's on the next bit. 10 points. So you make, a, make it a 40 point unit. Or a 54 point unit, and then the I want to say copter rocket, copter blades, spinning blades are zero points, so that's good, okay. Um, so yeah, you've got the choice of either a 40 point model or a 54 point model. Um, and I don't think the big shoes are um, entirely insignificant, depends who you're going against, to be honest, and what you use them for. I think the, the rockets are a very good, um, a very good um, weapon to be using with them, um, in my opinion, just because they give you something in the army which you don't have too much of, apart from if you've got 
tank busters really, um, which is the, the rocket shot, strength eight, three damage, which is pretty sick in my opinion. We'll have a little look at stratagems possibly. Let's have a little looky poos. Dooby 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 doos. Uh, where are we? I don't know why I'm singing today. I do apologize. Uh, nope. Stratagems. So we've had a glance at these in a couple of other videos, so I won't be going over the top on them. Um, nope. 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 Because that's the other guy. Nope. 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 Sorry, I'm just reading this as we're going through it. Maybe I should pause this and think I should just read it out loud, maybe. So two command points. Use a stratagem in your charge phase. Select an orc vehicle, which a defcopter is. You can roll 3d6 when making a charge move with that unit this phase. In addition, if it finishes a charge move, this phase selects an enemy unit within one inch of it and roll a d6 on a two plus that uh, that unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. So it's actually a good idea. However, I think it's more aimed at your um, units like uh, like the battle wagons and stuff like that and the other speed, speed freaks units. However, you could definitely, um, depending on how close you are, you could, if you're a speed freak, you could maybe get, what, 20... 22 inch uh, two inch move and then uh instead of be advancing wouldn't it but i don't think you can advance and charge can you let me just pause that one second yeah so you actually can't make um if you advance and do the turbo boost at 22 inches you're not gonna be able to get in however 3d6 is decent but on average you're probably going to make a nine inch charge almost definitely with a reroll from your here we go special rule so it means it's more likely to happen and you're more likely to get um, a D3 mortal wounds on it. However, this is one vehicle. Um, even if you use, you can't really use the same one and it's not on the unit, it just says, select an orc vehicle unit. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's just have a little look. <laughs> I'm working this out as I'm going along, to be honest. I did have a quick look, but let's uh, think it. So you can have numerous, um, numerous models go away. You can have numerous models in the units. You could have, what, uh, uh, five models, and on a two plus, each one of them is going to create D3 model wounds. I suppose that's one way around of getting the, um, gosh, the uh, bomb effect from before, except it's more likely it's going to hit on a two plus, which is decent, to be honest. It's not a, not a dead set, but you can definitely take some wounds off a Titan or even like a, a, like a Lehman Russ or something. That's actually pretty good, and I never thought about that before, and maybe I should have done. Um, but for a cheap unit, it's pretty good. Um, with that stratagem anyway, two command points, and obviously the, the more models that are in that unit, you're going to get more utility, and it's going to be almost definitely worth that um, two command points, to be honest. And there's no restrictions on thingy other than it being an orc vehicle. And it says, if this unit... Select the enemy unit within one inch of it, and it suffers D6 on a 2 plus D3 model wounds, which is pretty sick, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> I made a bit of a discovery in my head out loud. Um, yeah, we don't have to worry about that one. Field projector, that's all right, but that's not really... I mean, it could affect you. Um, bellowing exhaust, speed freaks. Uh, use this stratagem at the start of your movement phase. Select a speed freaks unit from your army until the start of your next turn. Subtract one from hit rolls for attacks made by range units at the target. So that's a good one for them. One command point, gonna make them less likely to hit. So if you've got something like a guard, unit guard army, um, and they're deciding to turn their sights on you, you have got um, minus one to hit. So they're gonna be shooting like you guys without the um, additional hits. More Daka, that's a good one, obviously bad moons. Oh no, 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 you can have it for anything. So again, making them rockets more deadly and big shooters. Again, I still feel like leaning towards the rocket, the copter rockets. Teleporter. Uh, da, 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 da. So you could do that with a teleporter, but why would you? Because they can already do their own version of Deep Strike without using a command point. Uh, we don't have stick bombs, don't think. Grot shields, meh. Um, loot it, that's... Nope. Sorry, I'm yawning. Ha <laughs> ha. 
try to sound a bit more interested whilst I'm at it. Long uncontrolled burst. Use this stratagem at the start of your shooting phase. So that's an orc reel from your unit that has the fly. Basically, this is able to death copters, right? That all the the other bits, the baddies, the baddies. <laughs> it's not baddies. Until the end of the phase, add one to hit rolls for shooting attacks made by that unit that target enemy units that can fly. That means you, these death copters actually are a lot better at bringing down the flying units. So if you send these after um, somebody's a flyer, basically, they're going to hit on a five like normal. You could use that and the Daka Daka Daka. Um, and the more decker, and you're more likely to kill them with three damage a piece, and they're going to be a bit scared, and they're going to want to try and take out your defcopters. To be honest, uh, no, uh, yeah, you could do that. Da -da -da. Use a strategy in the end of your shooting phase. Select an evil sun speed freak unit from your army. That unit can immediately make a move as if it were in the movement phase, but cannot charge this turn. So again, getting out of the way, that's good, especially if you're evil sons. Obviously, specific to evil sons. Scarboys, we're not going to look at that because that's pointless. Nah, meh. Blood axe. It's not an infantry, so it's not going to be doing that. Uh, bad moons showing off. Use a stratagem after resolving a shooting attack with bad moons infantry in your army. It can shoot all of its weapons a second time. The stratagem can only be used once per phase. So you could do that. And you could have the um, long uncontrolled burst, meaning each death copter, especially if you're aiming at one unit. Uh, uh, no, 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 ignore me. You can't because that's infantry, Nicholas. So that's pretty much the stratagems. Um, yeah, I think I think that's pretty much where we'll leave it because I don't think there's really going to be any other um, warlord traits, etc., that's going to increase um, our output. So. We'll go back to stratagems, actually, because I just want to have a little review. I would say, specifically, use the Death Copter Rockets. 54 points are fair enough. They're an expensive model. 54 points per model. You, these feel like they're more likely aimed at taking out the enemy flyers, because they can hit them in combat. They're not going to be OP in the combat, um, but the ramming speed is going to be good. In fact, you could do that to... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I can't believe I didn't see that. That is actually the best thing for def copters in my opinion is getting them because you can move in 14 inches on the second turn anywhere you want most flyers are going to be flying around the perimeter of the board anyway charge them um and you're gonna have 3d6 charge on a top you're gonna take them out you can obviously fire your rockets when you jump in as well so you know and you can use the the not the showing off one because that's firing twice you can add one to hit and you're just gonna mess with their day to be honest and i personally think maybe a little bit OP when you mix them with stratagems and considering orcs have got cheap infantry uh, mainly with Gretchen and other and orcs as well um, you are going to get a lot of command points uh, to use and absolutely devastate basically you can keep your uh, death copters safe off the board turn to they bring the flyer on you melt the fly with rockets and mortal wounds in combat then you get your normal attacks too you know not nothing to be sneezed at but not awesome and uh, you're going to cripple them pretty much straight turn. Anyway, um, now, <laughs> yeah, so I'd say rockets, definitely. Um, big shooters are cool if you're going against um, a lot of infantry. Um, however, these are mainly tank killers and flyer killers, in my opinion. Um, we've already gone over some of the, um, some of the stratagems you should use. The minus one to hit, which is good. It'd be nice if they had an inbuilt one, but, you know... Meh, you're not going to always get it, are you? Um, and I think what we'll do there is call it a day. Um, Death Copters equal good, in my opinion. If you disagree, um, feel free to put in the comments down below. If there's something I've missed um, about the rules or I've got something wrong, I am more than willing to listen and um, I'm more than willing to um, correct <laughs> and, uh, you know, and change my videos in the future. So thank you very much for watching this um, as I made some discoveries as I was making the video. Thank you very much and good night.